welcome to Lavanya's computer classes. In this video, I will explain important questions in distributed systems DS that is JNTH R18 CSE 42. Unit, unit 1 important questions. First question is define distributed systems. Definition of distributed systems and what are the significance and challenges of distributed system? Very important question, basic question. And second question is explain the examples of distributed systems. Next one is read this question according to the concept wise. What is resource sharing? How to sharing the resources? Its benefits and significance of resource sharing. Next question is explain the concept of inter-process communication. Very important question. Next one is architectural and fundamental system models. This question is coming anywhere like uh, difference between architectural and fundamental system models or explain the concept of architectural system model or explain the concept of fundamental system model. So read this question concept wise. Next important question is what is RPC? Explain with a neat sketch diagram and explain about distributed objects. So these are the some questions in unit 1 and remaining questions are discuss how DS are more scalable than the centralized systems. This is like application oriented. You have to explain why distributed systems are more scalable than the centralized systems. Next question is read the concepts of networking and internet working. This is general question only. Next explain the events and notifications in distributed systems. These are the some important questions in unit 1. Next unit 2 important questions are these everything is like operating system concepts you already we know about operating systems. Operating system layers this is very very important question and next one is protection of operating systems. Threads and process this is also very important question thread multi thread everything. Next OS architecture this is also very important question. Next OS architecture file system architecture. Next one is remote method invocation RMI. Explain the design issues of remote method invocation and uh, explain the communication between distributed objects in RMI. This is also important question. Next unit 3 important questions are explain about peer to peer systems, routing wireless and uh, peer to peer middleware. Next, explain the concept of distributed mutual exclusion, important question, and clocks, its events, and its process states. Synchronizing physical clocks, important question, and next some case studies, applications using case studies. Next, unit 4 questions, this is also like in DBMS, we already we know these concepts. What is transaction? What are the properties of transaction? And explain the nested transactions. Next logs, what is log, different types of logs and concept of deadlock is very very important. Deadlock, how to remove the deadlock, deadlock methods, everything. Next what is concurrency control in distributed systems, how to require a transaction, explain the nested distributed transaction, what are the different types of recovery methods, atomic commit protocols and timestamp ordering protocol, very important question. And last unit is unit 5, read the concept of replication, system model versus group communication, concept of distributed shared memory, important question, consistency model, design and implementation issues of distributed shared memory, this and fourth and fifth, everything is same concept, distributed shared memory. Transactions with replicated data explain that concept and concept of fault tolerance services. So these are all are the important questions in distributed systems. Take the pictures of these all these important questions. Read all the questions without leaving any question and share this video to your friends also. It is very helpful for passing in distributed systems. All the best for your exams. Thank you for watching my video. Please subscribe my video and share this video to your friends. Thank you.